guys, Rudy of Sumer here, and woo, today I have a uh, Rome Total War 1v1 online battle. I'm playing as Mastodon, my opponent is playing as Seleucid, and my army consists of a Royal Pikeman, some Phalanx Pikeman, and some Archers. So like two Royal Pikes, three Royal Pikes, two Phalanx Pikes, one Companion Cav, one Light Lancer. And what's this unit right here? Ah, yes. Another Light Lancer that I sent out to scout in the woods, because I pretty much... I thought he had stuff here, and uh, it turns out he did. So, it was worth finding that out, and wasting a Light Lancer unit to do some damage on his archers and his uh, Militia Cav while I can. And over here I have a Light Lancer hidden. So, good move on my opponent, I guess. He managed to get rid of one of my Light Lancers. But I also did a little bit of damage to his archers. So, I think it was worth the efforts. Meanwhile, yeah, this is my army. Let's check out his army real quick. Or her. <laughs> a couple Silver Shield Legionaries. Good stuff. And then some Cataphracts. And some archers, as well as militia cab. No idea what militia cab is. There it is. And uh, he was moving really close to the position of my light lancers, so I wanted to move them away and out of there so they wouldn't get destroyed. Because once I get rid of his militia cab, his cataphracts are too slow to react to any of my cavalry, basically, because they're so heavily clad in armor. So if I can just use the speed of my Light Lancers to harass, life is good. Check it out. We're both trying to rush up the hill at the same time. And I'm just trying to get rid of his Militia Cav. And it works after a nice charge by the Light Lancers. I need to bring these guys into battle more often. They're pretty useful on the charge. They killed like 15 to 20 Militia Cav on the charge. One charge. So that's pretty great. And I see an opportunity to strike at this little contingent of archers before his infantry can support. And while his infantry is running away, I'm charging these archers down. And his militia cab come back from routing, and as I said earlier, it's basically just a race for the top of this hill. And we're just going to move our uh, infantry corps up until the battle actually starts. And I think I'm starting to fire on his legionnaires and his archers or whatever. Whatever I'm doing. And it looks like he sent in a cataphract unit and managed to route my light lancer. Probably because I was microing my dudes. And I had a companion cab. Know what that was doing. Whatever. Got my companion cab and one unit of light lancers unscathed. So our dudes are just moving up this hill. We fast forward. There's nothing like tactically important going on now. And as you can see, we're starting to, I'm starting to move forwards and uh, provide some archer fire. His dudes are sideways, so that means I can shoot them in the flanks. And also, his archers are finally out in the open, so my archers have more numbers, I think. So now we're just engaging in a skirmish fight. So we're just exchanging arrows right now. Pretty great. And I was trying to win the archer supremacy. So... Yeah. 
once I defeat his infantry, his cavalry will not be a threat anymore. Unless I, like, pass out or something. <laughs> and they outflank each one of my pike units. So I'm starting to send some archers to the flanks, and I'm starting to reinforce my other flank with uh, phalanx pikemen. So my center consists of royal pikes, and my flanks consist of phalanx pikemen. And right now he's trying to make a move with his cataphracts. If I send my companions out, they're screwed. And I send this one royal pike to try to block these guys off. And if he turned around and charged my dudes right here with all three of his units, I would have been screwed. So he's chasing after one archer unit with three cataphracts. Meanwhile, I'm sending some phalanx pikemen and some royal pikes on a death mission to keep these cataphracts away while my infantry can destroy his. Now they're taking out the Sarissas from midair. I wonder how they're going to do that in Rome, too. Like, where are, are they going to put the Sarissas down? And once you put them down, then you can't bring them back up. And it takes time to put your Sarissas down. I mean, I kind of like the way Phalanxes feel in uh, Rome 1. So I just sent up some uh, my archers in the hopes that I could soak up some Pila with them. And I can see my dudes are actually doing a pretty decent job of holding these cataphracts off. And I'm trying to micro them so that they can at least last long enough or do enough damage to the cataphracts. And they do plenty of damage to the cataphracts. So the cataphracts are on the run now and he still has one unit left. He's trying to maneuver them away, and meanwhile, I got my light lancers that I did not waste yet. And I want to go for his archers so that I can engage in the infantry engagement. Engage in the infantry engagement. <laughs> ah, I cannot commentate today for some reason. So my light lancers just slowly charging up. Meanwhile, while his cataphracts are separated from his infantry, and his archers are pretty much defeated, he moves up his infantry. get p -Lud. Wake up, Phalanx Spike, when you're drunk. <laughs> and I got my Light Lancers, which are routing, because these units probably shot the crap out of them. And now I have my one unit companion cab. And his entire line basically disintegrates. So, good game to my opponents. Um, good luck. Have fun. Stay frosty. Keep playing Rome. Roma Victor. Unless, of course, you're playing as uh, Carthage. <laughs>